How do you start a new business and make it a success? Well, first of all, you should make yourself aware of a few things first. So let's just start and keep it, let's say, as let's say logical or rational as possible. First, you need a product or a service that you can sell. And where do where does money come from? From customers that buy a product or a service. So in order to make money, you need to sell a product or service to a customer for a fair price or a price that you know makes sense. Now in order to get a customer, you need to generate leads. And in order to get leads, you need either, let's say a, a, a marketing source like online uh, uh, strategy or you have a list of people you can call or uh, whatever. So basically, you know, you have to break it down and you can calculate how much money you can make. Let's say you want to create $100,000 per month in sales. Okay. Now, how many days does a month have 30, but usually uh, let's say you work Monday to Friday. If you take a typical month, it's about 22 days. So to keep it simple and to have a little bit of extra in there, we say on 20 days, you're able to work, let's say for 10 hours. And let's say you have to sell a product for $5,000 for you know 20 times, one per day. And let's say within 10 hours, you need to find one client. And let's say you make a hundred phone calls and the goal has to be to find one client who's willing to send or pay $5,000. So <laughs> this is how you kind of have to look at it. So your activity has to be a hundred calls Monday to Friday during 20 days of the month in order to generate a hundred thousand dollars in sales per month. Now, when you start, okay, does everybody have a $5,000 product? Maybe not. Maybe you start with a free product or free video, free brochure, free something. And then let's say you have a hundred dollar product and then maybe a $500 product, then maybe a $2,000 product, then maybe a $5,000 product and maybe even a $10,000 product. Okay. So it's almost like you start with a free product or maybe an inexpensive product first, the customer gets to know you, you know, has this experience with how you do business. At the same time, you can build a, a client database of, of contacts. And now you can call and you can sell the 5,000 or the $10,000 product later on. But he started with a free or inexpensive product first. And that's usually how it goes. So, you know, you're maybe able to sell from the get go a $5,000 product, but it requires sometimes a bit more trust. But if you start with a less expensive one or a free product or something, you get the uh, conversation going, uh, then it might be easier after to target the, the customer here. Now, another thing is you should position yourself as an expert in your field. And how do you do this? My recommendation is, you write a book, okay, <laughs> yeah. and you write a book about your topic. Now, you write all the best ideas, you keep it simple, you explain it well, and let's say your book sells for $20. Now, what is the goal of writing a book? Is it to become a New York bestseller? No, the goal is to have credibility to be an expert in your field whether you charge twenty dollars or you give away the book for free doesn't matter but once the person let's say has your book or read your book and thinks that you're an expert now it's much easier to charge the five thousand dollar product later on you see so the book is a marketing tool it's not you're not going to get rich by selling the book unless you're you know stephen king but most of us aren't. <laughs> so this way you use it as a tool to get, you know, the recognition, credibility, but especially to have a first experience with the, with the client as a marketing tool that allows you later on 
to sell a more expensive product. So that's in a nutshell my little advice for today.